Well good morning everybody, it's the, the morning after we have had a great night's sleep actually, we found this, as I said last night, perfect park up, lots of camper vans here in this quarry, it's so peaceful, so quiet, it's probably been the best park up that I've found so far on this, this journey since getting healthy, so I'm very, very happy. Now we, we've got up this morning, I've sorted everything out, got changed. Put the, the van back into car mode, we made ourselves a cup of coffee, which we're going to drink, and then we're going to head to where we want to go and have an adventure. But while I'm here, I want to show you this view that we woke up to. So this is the view we have woken up to. What absolutely beautiful countryside to see on a day like this. A bit cloudy, a bit overcast today, but you still you get the idea. Well the main reason we wanted to stay down here last night was to come to Tynum, another abandoned village. Now there's quite a bit of information on this place. What I know, it used to be a, quite a thriving village, but it was commandeered during World War II to uh, act as a training base. It was only meant to be temporary, but uh, it's still a training base now. A lot to explore. So the first row of buildings that we come to when we first enter Tynum from the car park, we're actually able to enter it's safe enough and strong enough for the buildings to a faster actually go in and get involved in. This particular bit I'm stood in at the moment is the schoolhouse. Must have been a pretty tiny little schoolhouse. But there's still remnants of the fireplaces and things like that. I just add that to me when I come across abandoned buildings like this, they add that element that actually think things like fireplaces, people lived here. That and the windows which we're a bit drafty at the moment. When we first got here this morning, I thought this was quite a small little village and I thought it would be over with in, in a, a half hour or so. But what I've discovered as we've gone on and following the footpaths around, there's more and more abandoned buildings keep popping up. Some of it is behind fences, of course, to be protected. But there's quite a bit here, quite a bit here. Uh, what I also like on each of the abandoned buildings, they've got a little piece that says who used to live here, remembering those who gave up the houses in order for that the army could train here in World War II. I can't imagine what sacrifice that must have been made to just, just give up your own home for the greater good, but also be told that you will be coming back and never come back. Humbling thought. Now you can probably see behind me the Chinam church. I usually avoid churches on my explores. I'm not a religious person, so I feel I would be uh, rude to uh, people who are religious by going into churches and talking about them. But I find this one quite significant. When the village was abandoned, there was a sign put on the door of this church, which sums up exactly what we, we, uh, we needed to know. You know, th these people have abandoned their houses and their church to win the war and they had planned to come back. Unfortunately, they never did come back unless they passed away and then they were, they were still buried in this church. I believe the church was actually still in use after the war where villagers would come down and have their, their Sunday mass. Um, I'm not a religious person, so apologies if I got that wrong. But... It's quite a sacrifice, I think, that these people have made, leaving their homes, leaving their church. And with what's going on in Ukraine, it really feels like it brings it home. Right, I think we've done exploring time now on a summer note. I think I need a bit of cheering up. Right, well, Tynum finally got here. Yay. This has been on your list for a while. I think, you know, 
it's killed a couple of hours it's well worth coming down and having a look around i still can't get over just how somber it's made me feel but never mind so where are we going to go next amanda i have no <laughs> idea I want to see if we can go and see what that thing we saw this morning on, on the cliff top was. Because my first thought it was a lighthouse, but I wasn't so sure. And then I think we should head into Swanage. Well, you're driving, so I have to go wherever you take me. Let's go do it. Well, this is about as close as we can get to this tower we spotted this morning. I was told the name of it and I can't remember what it was, but basically it's uh, just above Kimmer Ridge Bay, which absolutely beautiful So We had to pay six pound for the car park and the privilege to drive further along the road. But the views here are amazing. And this, this building, this tower, apparently it's possible to stay in it. And a bit like Beltot Lighthouse in Eastbourne, this had to be moved about six years ago because it was getting too close to the edge. But then these views, these views, that must be stunning to stay here and see how across here. I'm told that Kimmeridge Bay, there is a lot of uh, fossils found uh, in here. It is the Jurassic Coast, so it's bound to be lots going on. Well, I'm glad we found this, came and had a look. We're going to head on into Swanage for a bit of lunch. Okay. Well, we're back in Alfie now. I just parked up in Swanage and overlooking the town. We've brought ourselves a nice little uh, picnic, some charcuterie, I believe they called it. Yes. yes, yes. Which we're going to eat before heading home. So we're going to call this video uh, to an end. I think we're going to have to come back because as we were driving into Swanage, we saw Corfe Castle. And I think on another video, we're going to have to have a look at Corfe Castle and Swanage in more detail. But we know where to sleep. We know where to sleep. That was a fantastic spot that we found there. That's one that we're definitely going to be using again. Probably one of the best. Anyway, if you've liked this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And we'll be back again next time on another adventure with Alfie, at least. Bye. <laughs>